Hi, I'm Tati and this is what I read in June. So I read quite a few books in June. Six about, so let's get right into it. First up is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. This is the newest book in the Hunger Games series um, and it's a prequel and the main character is Cornelius Snow. And this all takes place before he became president of Panem. Honestly, I had low expectations going into this. One, I don't love prequels. Two, I don't love villain stories or stories where I can't root for the main character. And three, I knew none of my favorite characters from the original trilogy would be in this story. However, it was actually really interesting. There was information in the story about how the game started and then changed into what they are in Katniss's time. And so many little details that connect to the original trilogy. Like so many that it made me wonder what Snow was thinking during certain parts of the original trilogy. And it made me kind of consider like if I would read books from the original trilogy in Snow's point of view. I also forgot how much I love the way that Suzanne Collins writes. It totally sucked me in. However, on the other hand, it is left a bit open-ended. It has to be because it leads into the next trilogy, but there's stuff that wasn't answered that isn't answered in the trilogy either. And Snow's character throughout the book is not exactly likable, which in terms of like books in general is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something I don't prefer. And that's how I ended up on a three out of five star rating for this book. Next we have Persuasion by Jane Austen. This was the June and final book for the Austen Anonymous read-along. I actually listened to this one as an audiobook and I watched the 2007 movie adaptation and I really enjoyed both. Persuasion is definitely going on my list of favorite Jane Austen books. I gave it three and a half out of five stars and I was on the live show for Persuasion so I'll leave that linked in the description. Number three is Catching Jordan by Miranda Kennelly. Unfortunately I didn't really enjoy this one. I just didn't click with any of the characters and the plot seemed a bit drawn out for me. I ended up giving this one two out of five stars. Number four is Maybe This Time by Casey West. This one was just as great as I was hoping it would be because I'm a fan of Casey West's books. It's a bit of a unique premise for a YA book set at nine different events throughout the length of a year, but I ended up really enjoying that aspect of it. It felt like we got to skip over any possible boring stuff that might have happened because we only see the big events and because this is a contemporary romance we get to see the main couple together at every event. I really enjoyed the romance part of it and how the relationship was paced. I also really enjoyed the friends and family aspects of it. I ended up giving this one four out of five stars. And then we have The Siren by Kira Cass. This one is about Kayleen. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I could be pronouncing it wrong. Who becomes a siren after almost drowning. This is the first siren book I've ever read, I believe. Um, and I did enjoy it more than I thought I would. There were, however, some parts I didn't enjoy as much, like the weird spelling of every character's name, and that the ocean was sort of an antagonist in the story. But I really enjoyed the romance aspects and Kayleen's story overall. I ended up giving this one three out of five stars. And finally, the last book I read in June is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. In this one, Pippa knows that Sal Singh didn't kill Andy Bell, but will she be able to prove it? I loved this book. Such a great mystery, awesome characters, suspense, and even a pinch of romance. If you like mystery slash crime slash thriller slash suspense books, I highly recommend this one. I gave this one 5 out of 5 stars. Definitely my favorite read of June. And that's everything I read in June. Let me know in the comments what your favorite read of June was or what you thought of any of the books I talked about. I have new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Can I get it in a spot where it will not be shiny? Is it the Ballad of Songbirds Persuasion. And that's everything I read in June. And I'm eating my hair. Alright, something will work.